What's up guys, Zocrafter here. In today's video is another quick tips guide. I want to talk about the dumpsters and toilets that you find scattered throughout the game world. They have their own individual uses. And also I want to talk about some of the cassette tapes that do kind of wacky stuff, the kind of shit we come to expect from Kojima at this stage. So let's have a look and get started. The first thing we're going to look at is the dumpster. Pretty common in the game world, there's no shortage of them. And the first, the most basic function, is to hide inside. By pressing the action button near the dumpster, you'll simply hop in. You can get out again also by simply pressing the action button. And another basic function is you can hide bodies in there. Once you've subdued an enemy, whether you've knocked them out or killed them, whatever, you carry them to the dumpster, press the interact button to place them inside. By pressing the interact button again, you can take them out. Or by pressing the action button, you can place them inside and hop in beside them to hide. The action button again to get back out, but the enemy will remain inside. Pretty useful. You can also use the dumpsters as kind of distractions. We'll look at that now. In this case, I blew up the generator, but if it was night time, I could have simply turned off the generator and they'll send someone to investigate. So, because it was an explosive distraction, I know two of them are going to come and check it out. While we wait for the two boys to come, I just want to have a quick uh, chat about it. In a real game scenario, you could be hiding inside a dumpster and a guy might happen past on his patrol route. Two options, press and hold the CQC button to grab him and drag him inside, or you could simply aim your weapon at him to form a hold up. Cover them now in a second, I'll give you a look at them. Whether I can hear the two lads coming, we're going to just wait it out for a second. Here comes the first guy. Here's the second guy, so press and hold the CQC button to drag him inside. And then, the other alternative is to press the aim button. That will perform a hold up. So generally, they'll be without, out of range of the get down command, but because his back is turned, you could hop out and grab him, whatever. Next, let's talk about the toilets. Pretty common, just like the dumpster. And to begin with, they have pretty similar functionalities. The interact button will hide a soldier inside. The interact button again will take him back out. Or by pressing the action button, you place him inside and hide inside along with him. This is where it begins to vary. You don't have CQC or hold up options, but you do have other options. And I want to show you them now. An enemy sees you going into the dumpster and he's coming to investigate. If you need to pass you time it properly, wait till he's right outside the door and then press the action button to burst out. You hit him with the door. Now he won't be knocked out, but there is enough time to perform a hold up or a grab. Next function, as you can see on the screen, there's an enemy presence display. He knows I went in there, he's coming to investigate. I'm going to open my eye drive, and I'm going to look for the cassette tape that says Soldier with a Stomach Ache. Now, I'm going to play that. Make sure the speakers are on, and play the tape. Not very pleasant for us to listen to, but likewise for the soldier. Now, there's no way in hell that he's going to open that door. He simply decide it's not worth it, and he'll go away. There he goes. Now that we've encountered the cassette tapes, I want to talk about a few more of them. Let's have a look at the rest now. The next one is the enemy down cassette tape. Now this is dependent on which country you're in, you have to choose the right tape. There's the Russian version or the African soldier version. In this case we're going to use the uh, Russian Soviet soldier one for Afghanistan. There it is. So once you select the correct tape, sure that the speakers are turned on and you're right right so that everyone can hear it and then play the tape just once or twice until the enemy start repeating it now they think you're dead they're still on alert but just keep in cover don't be seen the nearest guys might still be suspicious but once their commanders tell them go back to their post they won't disobey they'll do as they're told So the last guy goes away, you get the all clear bell and the combat alert is ended. Next there's Quiet's team, that gives you a type of uh, steady aim, lessens uh, scope sway. So by playing her team, turn on the speaker, close it and when we look through the scope of her sniper rifle, it will be very steady, almost as if you were prone even though you're standing. Now you'll notice as the tune begins to end, the sway begins to return and when the humming stops, plenty of sway again. Handy enough I suppose if you're doing a long range shot. 
Extras capturing the wondering mother base soldiers. So I always like to bring the dog when I'm looking for them because he'll mark them from a distance and finding them is a lot simpler. There you go, he's already marked it. So as you approach, equip a cardboard box. As you see in the video, even the most basic cardboard box will do. You don't need any of the decals or anything fancy. Look for the tape that says uh, Love Deterrence. Music one under Love Deterrence. Play that, and again turn on the speaker of your right ride. And make your way within earshot of the Wondering Mother Base soldier. Once he hears that, he'll begin to make his way towards the music. You're in the box so that you don't freak him out and come all the way over. I like to tell the dog to stay beside me so he doesn't annoy the soldier. Make everything a bit smoother. Or the dog doesn't do anything stupid. Now you just wait for the soldier to come all the way up to you. Once he's within range, deselect the box, pop out of it, and initiate a CQC takedown. Now they're very tough, you won't knock them out on the first one. No second fight hit combo will knock them out. If you're using throws, you might have to throw them three or four or even five times. But once he's on subdued, go ahead and fulton him, and that makes it very simple to capture them. So guys, that was a quick tips video. Uh, if you liked the video, be sure to hit the thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe to keep up to date with all things Allcrafter. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next